I'm speaking with composer and pianist William Sussman about his album Quiet Rhythms, which he recorded live at Spectrum New York City. And so first of all, I would like to welcome you, William. Thanks for being on Classical Conversations. It's just such a pleasure to have you here. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. I love being here. I wonder if you could introduce us to Quiet Rhythms by tracing some of the evolution of it from the time you first started composing it to present day. Sure. I started writing it in uh, around 2010, and it was a process that it went on for about three years, but I didn't expect it to go on for that long. I just started writing pieces at the piano, a little bit at the computer, meeting uh, my keyboard at the computer. And I would work on them uh, late at night when things were quiet. Kind of a coincidence, that, but it's not really related to the title at all. I wrote these pieces with the idea that I could play them. That was that was my main goal with this project. I wanted to get back into performing. I hadn't performed um, my own music in a long time. And so that was the goal. And, and that's how it started. Yeah. What was it that took you away from performance for that time period? That's a good question. I was really just focused on, on composition. Um, I was focused on different aspects of, of, of my life as far as teaching, uh, teaching privately, but also larger projects that were just con consuming me. I was always doing film. I was also scoring for documentaries, uh, scoring some features. And so I had written you know, many pieces in the past and I wanted to be able to get out and, and perform them. It was challenging and I, and I couldn't do it. I just didn't ha have the time. And essentially, many of my earlier pieces that I wrote in my 20s, I couldn't play. They were, they were beyond my capability. And I wanted to write music that I could perform. I was reading through the, the liner notes that you wrote for the album, and you'd said that the music... In, in this album is music that had been inside you for many years. And I wondered if you could elaborate on some of those different kinds of music. So the, the music that is in Quiet Rhythms is really coming from my background, growing up playing jazz, uh, playing in big band in high school, playing in combos during that time, as well as uh, playing professionally. For 13 years, uh, that's how I really made my living, playing in um, every diner and dive and restaurant and gig I could get in, in my 20s. So the music in Quiet Rhythms uses and, and is informed by a lot of jazz uh, voicings, ways that one would, would voice chords in a song that, that you play from the American Songbook, for example. And also I played in combos where we did, um, uh, they were Latin jazz combos, or we played, we played salsa, we played bossa nova. And so these, these rhythms uh, also inform quiet rhythms in, in a large way. There are four books of these quiet rhythms, is that right? Correct. And the, on the album, we have selections from books one and two. How are those books structured? They're structured in the sense that each piece was written in two parts. I have something that I called an action, which I wrote first, and that was syncopated, very rhythmic music. And then I created something called a prologue, uh, somewhat like you would read in a book. And it just introduces the listener and the player with the music that they're going to play that's going to be more syncopated um, in the action. So in a sense, it's a smoothed out version of the action. It's not as syncopated. It's using quieter, one could say, uh, rhythms. I structured it with, with, a, with 11. I thought that was, that was a nice number to stop at and realized a little bit later on that as I was really getting, getting into this, I would end up with 88 uh, short little pieces. And I thought that was apropos to end at that point because of the symbol symbolism with the uh, 88 and the modern piano. Oh, right. That's so interesting. So we have this two-part form, a prologue and an action. It's not every day we hear action as a way to describe musical form. Could you tell me more about how you came up with that terminology? Action was a title that I thought was related to syncopation. 
and related to moving forward, both musically, gesturally, but also moving forward with my language and where it was going. So there's a little bit of symbolism there. I'd love to hear more about the performance venue as well. I've heard really good things about Spectrum and it uh, seems like it's kind of a hidden gem. Could you put your finger on what, what makes it so magical? Well, I've known Glenn for a long time. I knew him when he lived out here in Palo Alto. And this is where he started Spectrum. Ultimately, he moved away from Palo Alto, I brought that beautiful piano with him ultimately settled on a venue in Lower Manhattan um, at 121 Ludlow for many years. Since then, he's moved away and now he's, um, he's in Brooklyn. But at that point, I had played at that venue several times. I'd fly out to New York and uh, either perform solo or perform with other players. And I really enjoyed it. Every time I walked up the stairs, I would see this stone plaque and the stone plaque was engraved with uh, Hebrew names from the late 1890s. And I did some research and realized that it was at one time a burial society and at another time a synagogue. It had kind of a, a mystical and spiritual feeling as I entered the place and performed there because of, of, its, of its past history and... Um, of the, the many lives that went through that place and that were touched by it. My ancestors also came through uh, Ellis Island as well, ultimately settling in New York, ultimately se settling in Chicago. I had some who lived in New York. It touched me and I really um, felt a connection to that, to that space. What do you feel like has been one of the most meaningful aspects of this project for you when you reflect back on your time through the whole process? I think what's really made it meaningful is to have so many players want to play this music. I wrote it for myself and other people have, have picked it up and, and performed it and recorded it. And, and for me, that's, that's very gratifying. continuing to work on them. I'm, I'm now working on, on a new series and they continue to inspire me to this day. There's a wonderful pianist in France that is recording uh, books two, three, and four, Nicholas Horvath. He's already recorded book, book one. And a marvelous pianist named Vanessa Wagner who recorded one of the pieces on an album of hers called England. So um, that's what's going on with, with them and with my music. Thank you very much for, for having me here. We've been talking about Quiet Rhythms, a piano cycle by William Sussman, recorded live at Spectrum, New York City. William, we look forward to exploring your music further, and thanks for your comments and conversation today. It's been a pleasure being here with you today. <laughs>